Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about known fast forward merge or normal merge. Previous video is all about fast forward merge. This is known for fast forward merge. Again, we need to have one repository. So I'm going to uh, like in GitHub, I'm going to create one folder, my code one, going to this, my code one. Again, I'm going to create uh, one file. Uh, before this, let me convert this into the Git repo. G let's create a file, echo, change from master. This time I'm going to give it, uh, use this first change from master. Okay. And I'm creating one file, file one, done going to add this git add uh, file underscore one git commit first change from master okay and it is done okay I forget to add this m okay and it is done let's verify git log and here we have this first uh, log I'm going to draw this so we have first branch master in the first branch we have a uh, commit one okay and the commit name we have is actually first change from master okay I'm going to copy this and paste him over here Right, let me increase the size. So this is my current scenario. Now, same way, I'm going to create one another branch, B1. I'm going to create one another commit as well into the B1. Okay, I will use another file. So git branch B1, git checkout B1. Okay, going to create one file, echo, change from branch B1 and I'm going to create another file. So, file underscore 2, git add, file underscore 2, git commit dash m. change from branch b1 done and git log will show you this as well okay let me copy this and here i'm going to say that i have one commit and it is changed from b1 okay let me increase the size Now, here we are going to make some differences over here so we can understand the difference. When we created or when we understood fast forward merge, okay, there is no commit after this particular commit and then we have created this particular branch and there is no another commit into the master branch, right? This time, I'm going to create one another commit into the master branch, okay? And I have to make some changes into the file as well. So, first of all, going to switch to the master branch. Git checkout master. Switch to the master branch. I am in the master branch. Okay. Now, in the master branch, I am going to make some changes because I want to make new commit. So we have one file, which is file one. So I'm going to use echo, okay. Second change from master. And I'm going to use double greater than sign because I want to add new line 
if you will use one greater than sign it will remove the previous line so it is like concatenation it is going to add the new line okay and the file name is file one now git add file underscore one git commit dash m here i'm going to give name second change from master okay and yeah it is done let me give the command git log and here we have second change from the master okay so let me yeah so we have another commit right let's commit now what will happen okay if i am going to merge this particular branch b1 with this one okay we have already two commits uh, let me okay first change and the another commit so we have already two commits here into the master branch now what happened of course we have made some changes into the master commit it means we cannot consider this like when we will merge this we cannot consider it as a fast forward merge okay so let's verify so i'm already in the master branch let me give the command git merge and branch one here it is asking me merge branch b1 i said yes it is like a new merge okay and wq now see here we are not getting fast forward merge option why because we have another commit into the master branch so now we cannot consider it as a fast forward merge and now i am in the master branch look at the difference what is actually happening if i am going to give command git log hello everyone sorry to disturb you i am sure you guys are enjoying our git git lab course if you want full access of this course having 83 videos you can enroll it from our portal for standard student will get special discount there is some limitation on youtube we are unable to give you support but once you become our community member our instant support is included lifetime updation completion certification and additionally weekly lifetime live session with our expert bhavashatar we want to improve your skills anyhow so that's why we added five projects as well we are also available on udemy still you have any doubts any queries you can contact me on my personal number thank you